How you doing out there? This is John Wayne Mercure, the sonneteer from beautiful, gorgeous Chandler, Arizona. You should visit here, endless summer. You'd like it. John Wayne Mercure, that's me, the sensei. I write sonnets. In this sonnet, it hurts me to even write it. Sonnet number 1,242. I love horses. And the name of this sonnet is The Merciless Butchery of race horses. Bryant Gumbel on TV, he's a great man, enthralling star of his own program, Real Sports. Great program. The brilliance of his diverse segments. Splendid reports. He always is reporting of things people are really unaware of, like the abuse of race horses. Disgusting treatment of beautiful horses, a national disgrace. Greedy owners, they drug up their horses. They race them when they're badly injured. They break their legs. It's awful. Beastly human beings do that. Anything for a dollar. Their dark souls are dead. Their hearts are black. Running horses to death, literally, using steroids. The horses in America are a third bigger than the ones in Europe. Why? Because we drug them here. They're too big for their bodies. They break their legs. They, they give them painkillers galore. Make them run anyway. They discard horses that do not win. The slaughterhouses of gore. They kill them. There's recording films showing horses falling down collapsing, ugly, dying right there in front of everybody with broken legs. The killing of these horses intentionally. And if they don't win races, they kill them anyway. They ship them off to be butchered. 10,000 racehorses are butchered each year in America. It's a genocide. People would adopt those horses. They're auctioned off to the highest bidders. For what? <laughs> Dog food. Their chance of life is denied. Human monsters murdering helpless animals, beautiful animals. They're needlessly cruel. Demonic owners, they don't care, caring not. Satan's little helpers, so evil. The American Jockey Club, they're an accessory. They say they're trying to stop it. They could stop it if they wanted to. The owners could stop it. Accessory to this atrocious slaughter. How can these hypocrites live with themselves? They're craven cowards. 2,000 race horses die each year of devastating injuries, demanding that these beautiful animals, that they run until they're dead. That's crazy, doing that to these poor horses. You take them to a slaughterhouse because they won't win anymore. They can't. And they cut their throats. They bleed them out. It's awful. These gorgeous horses are now dog food. Beauties, beautiful, beautiful horses. Murdered by human devils. Selfish demons of blood. The United States Congress is responsible for this travesty. They could stop it if they wanted to. The blood red hands are allowing this thing to continue. And it's just negligency. It's wrong. It's not righteous. Other countries would never allow this bloody murder to continue. Do nothing, American Congress. All they do is sit around. They don't talk about real problems. What about infrastructure? What about medication, uh, drug prices? How about the border? How about the things we really need in this country instead of your crap sitting around wasting time, impeach, impeach? Come on, man. Donald Trump is a great president. I'm really proud of the fact he's got so much courage to... Maybe he can stop this, but these heartless devils that will let this, this horse murder go on? The doping of these poor horses should be unlawful. Who is in power in there that's listening? You legislators, all of you in Congress, are you listening? We need legislation that stops this, knowing that demonic people would do the same thing. They do the same thing to horses, and they'd do it to humans if they could. That's why it's so scary. These same people, they don't care about anything. They don't care about innocent animals suffering. Congress always filibustering, wasting time, posturing, wicked, wicked lobbying. 
distressed horses, needing mercy, somebody to help them. Human savages, that's what they get. Bloodlusting. Man is wolf to man. Murder of helpless horses. Greedy beasts, this man, humanity. Planned holocausts of human beings, it's happened before. Now they're butchering pretty horses. Man, greedy butcher of all living things. Grizzly feasts. How can, how can righteous people allow this? I don't get it. I'm talking to righteous American citizens out there. And these racehorses, they're so beautiful. And, and, and they uh, cause them to get their legs broken. And they cut their throats and turn them into dog food. Come on. People could adopt those horses. And I'm just telling you, I can't stand it. What's happened to these horses? Thank you, Greg Gumble. You did a really good job. You've got a great program, Real Sports. And I'd like to ask people out there, let, let's rise up. There's a lots of people that are doing this, by the way, that are against this murder of race horses. And they're rising up. I'm talking to all of you out there. we got to all rise up. I'm so sick of these animals being tortured and murdered. Dog fighting, we got to stop that. Who are these animals that do that? Anyway, thank you for listening. John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer. Au revoir. Dugardez-vous pour toujours, mes amis.